I'm in the trenches with my rifle, do rag for the title. Dear tag in the clouds, make you question the Bible. This deadly podcast will make you threaten your rivals. Drew Montana and I in my lead, straight finessing your idols. Hey! Let's get it. Uh, uh. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes, it's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery, Ooh. or rewrite history, duck tales. Ooh. Every day they're out there making duck tales. Ooh. Tales of daring, do bad, to good duck tales. Ooh. When it seems they must be behind you, there's a stranger out to find you. If did you just call on you so DuckTales? Ooh. Every day there's an entire two paragraphs. Stanzas? <laughs> Every time you ride into DuckTales. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Yes. That's solid. Man, I'm lightheaded. DuckTales. Same, and the scrolling fucked me up. I'm like, what the hell's happening? <laughs> yep, we're back. We're, we're all back. The way back, dude. A little goddamn rocking. We got fucking Luis J. Gomez and Zach Miko in the hey, house. Holy finally. shit. How the fuck did these guys get here? What's up, Tuggies? What's up, what up, what up? Thanks for coming, boys. I think you're uh, the guy who, whatever business is attached, which I think is like car detailing or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think he likes you guys. No. Uh, we don't sure. like we him. Don't like him. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's loud as hell yeah. all the time. I, 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 the vibe that I got, because I, I'm, I'm like, I got out of my Uber and I'm looking for the door and he's like, where, where are you trying to go? And I was like, oh, I'm going to my buddy's studio. And he's like, green door. It's like annoyed, like kind of annoyed. Yeah. I'm like, all right. And then I tried to go in another door because I just didn't pay attention to the color he said. And he's like, I said green door over there. They're going to have to come down and get you. You need a code. And I was like, all right. Yeah. And I could tell that he just wasn't feeling. I screamed at one of his friends one day uh, when I was coming in. His friend was double parked outside in the S550 Benz. And all I did was I beat the horn maybe three times. Mm-mm. And white guy gets out, walks over to my window. He says, hey, you fucking dickhead. Next time, just just go around. You see how small that block yeah. is. And it's a white guy. And it's a white guy. It's a fucking cocky Who the ass fuck white guy. Yeah. Where, where Who are these the white guys coming from? To? I freaked out. I got out the car. <laughs> I got out the car screaming at him. Start walking towards him. He's like, okay, okay, I'll move my car. Move my car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I said, Who the fuck are you talking to? Oh, my God. Also, in the sense, he did like apparently a... have four stars and was trying to pull in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and get a car oh, yeah. new color. He's about to send the army at me. You see what I'm saying? Dude, he owns the a fuck? business that not many people shop at, and people next door come to all the time and are just rotating in and out out of so he's got dudes like looking around like yo are you trying to get your fucking mercedes wrapped they're like no nah, i'm doing a podcast what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> right, yeah. he's like no you don't want you don't want the orange lamborghini paint he's like the fuck is this guy <laughs> you guys are definitely at opposite ends of the spectrum yeah. in terms of clientele they spend a million dollars to shop down there we beg people to come here for free yeah. it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah yo he always got some hot shit down there. Lambos, Benz. Wait, wait, there was Porsche. a nice. There was a nice Mercedes Benz out front right now. Yeah. Silver. I don't even know. I don't know shit about cars. I'm such a bitch when it comes to cars. Yeah. Yeah, me I'm, too. I'm like, yo, it's fucking nice, dude. Mercedes. That's as far <laughs> as my knowledge goes. Yeah, I'm like, I like the shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit's shiny. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I used to, I used to sell cars at Kia when I was like 24, 25. You've had every job in the world. I did, yo. That's my fantasy job. Yeah, Not I Kia specifically, it. but selling cars. Bro, it's hard. You got to know about cars. Oh, yeah, I fucking, I don't even I know I just make cars. shit up. I know about people. Yeah, true. You're looking, you're looking for buying signs. When they cry, they buy. Yeah. They're talking about their kids. So I was talking about the safety of their vehicle. Then they're like, oh, that's it. That's what I need. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, you that's want it. somebody to cry before they buy a Kia? Yeah. What if they ask you questions about the car? Like, hey, what's like, what kind of engine is it? You fucking do that shit to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's loss of power, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's loss of power. That's some 48 loss of power shit right there, doggy. Yeah. Don't let them ask you questions. Yeah. <laughs> remind, remind them that whoever is asking the questions is the person that is being sold. Oh. Did you ever do uh, slaves ask so many questions? To <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Whose boat is that? <laughs> uh, Did you do door to door sales? Uh, my first job ever when I was 11 years old was selling newspaper subscriptions for the Rockland Journal News. And we would go door to door 
like we we do like at the, the beginning it was like you go to shop right you're just getting people coming out of the supermarket mm. but then after a while we're like all right we got to go door to door and we would fucking just knock on people's doors being like hey we'll give you a free subscription to the rockland journal news you get eight weeks for free you could cancel at any time and then they never cancel and that was the whole scam oh nice, nice. Yeah, that's pretty good how much was the subscription five bucks five no no i'm sorry i don't even know how much the subscription was i have no idea it was free for them it, it, but it, yeah. then it was probably like two dollars a week after that or whatever oh, uh, yeah. but i got five dollars every time i signed somebody up every time I, I got somebody to give me their information oh that has to be illegal they were getting the fuck out of you five out five bucks five bucks yeah yeah but it was pretty yeah. good i was making when i was like 11 i was making like 300 dollars a week oh yeah oh good. damn which was a lot of money damn. at the time what does yeah. an 11 year old even spend that on bro I don't even know, man. My, but they, I, I had to quit because the guy started bouncing checks to me. Oh, what? Yeah, it's fucked up. You were getting fake checks at 11? Fake checks right. You, how you scam an 11 year old? You lived a wild life. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked. I've worked. How many jobs? You worked every. I've, I think I've worked I've had a lot every of jobs. fucking job. Yeah. I've worked every day since I was 11 years old. Damn, I started at four, 14. My first job was Rita's Water Ice. Yeah. You, ever, you, you ever heard of Y'all don't have a I know, I know what water ice is. It's like, you know, uh, Italian ice, right? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. That's where I was yeah. working. And I used to steal maybe maybe about two, anywhere from two to 500 bucks a day. Just Didn't you set up shit. something with uh, your boy to, like, rob the place? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my homies um, was trying to pay for an abortion, and he had the money. <laughs> so we had got we already had got robbed three times in that summer. So then I was like, bro. <laughs> make it four, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just rob us. Yeah, but then he didn't get anything because he freaked out. Everybody, the the real robbers came in smooth as hell. Like, yo, everybody chill out. It's you you were there, you got robbed, specifically. Yeah. He freaked out and you were the, did he get too into character where he forgot yes. over his boy? <laughs> bro, yeah, he did. <laughs> no, I don't want to really have to kill you, not <laughs> Yo, he went crazy, bro. No, he, don't make me do it to him. No, he went crazy. And I told him, I gave him the whole game, I said, dog, we got robbed three times this summer. They were all very calm. Like, yo, everybody just relax, sit down. We're going to take they this money. They had guns and everything. Guns and everything. Sit down, everyone. Sit down. An Just Italian sit. ice spot. They couldn't have picked yeah. a better spot. He has a gun in your mouth. Cash. He's like a scoop of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we, we went to fucking uh, the, the spot you told me to go to for... Uh... Oh, Delisandro's. No, we didn't go to Delisandro's. No, Angelo's. Angelo's. We went to Angelo's. Angelo's is good, though. And that's all cash. So that is fucking money laundering yeah. galore. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, no sure. reason for an all cash business. What, the only reason... And then Angelo just walks around. He stands out front. And he had all these fucking Mexicans running yeah, around the place. Bruh. That shit is fucking doing some illegal shit. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. But that's what whatever's going on with this Italian ice bit, like that. That's crazy. It definitely was a front, and and it was so much money. Like I said, bro, I was stealing anywhere from two to five hundred dollars a day, and I never got caught. I got fired for giving away a free water ice when I was 21. I worked there from, from 14 to 21. <laughs> That's crazy. You were making $180,000 a year. Yes. <laughs> bro, I had like three cars. Bro, I was yeah. killing it. Everybody thought I was selling drugs. Never sold, never was selling drugs. Sold a little bit of weed on the side. Of course. But for the most part, just was just probably the water ice business, though. Yeah. You a little thirsty? You a little, little treat? Listen, I got some weed, too. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even imagine they would sell that because they're a dollar per water ice. Yeah, if a small was like a dollar seventeen, a medium was like two So they're something. having... I mean, thousands of transactions a day. That in order for you to get away with five hundred, yeah, yeah, bro. And I was the only one stealing. It was like two of my other homies were stealing from that bitch too. Damn, damn. Yeah, it's crazy, dog. Never got caught. I got fired for giving away some free shit. Oh, when my, when my homie robbed it. So all three times we got robbed. Of course, I was the one that had to take the trash out every night. So all three times we got robbed, literally somebody came and put a gun to my head <laughs> and walked me back inside. Like all three times <laughs> for this shitty job. For this shitty job, I'm making seven twenty five an hour, bro. Wait, do you get to throw the trash away, or is it does it happen too quick and then you walk back in with the gun to your head and the stinky trash bag? <laughs> nah, <bro. laughs> no, listen. The one time he told me to drop it. One time he put the gun on my head. He said, "Yo, drop that shit." I said, "Oh shit." I said, "Don't kill me, bro." Please. We walked back inside, but then he was calm as hell. But then. When my homie did it. He Are watched, they wearing he ski masks yes. or anything? Ski they wear ski masks, yep. ski masks, and all that shit. This is crazy. And you got to think this is the summertime. They had right. they had a shite on in the they're summer. They're sweating. Yep. They're uncomfortable. You don't want to get them more agitated. Hell no. Yeah. He's already hot with a gun in his <laughs> yeah. hand. Palms are sweaty. <laughs> yeah, but you know it'll go really good if you got that on in the summer. Italian ice. True. Get a little, yeah. True. He just steals a fucking gallon. He's like, also give me, give me a lemon lime. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy robbed him. Open the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> just sticks his head in there. Yeah. Give me the code to the freezer. <laughs> put the oscillating fan on and put it in front of the freezer and leave the door open. <laughs> Let me hang out in the freezer for a little bit. <laughs> Smear some custard on my back. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, bro. He gave the, the one guy, he gave all of us 20 bucks. He robbed us, and then he pulled twenty out the out of, out of the uh, bag. That's and cool. Gave all of us a twenty. I was like, "Oh, nice." And then my manager was like, "We can't keep this money." And I was like, "Fuck, bro." <laughs> but no, when my homie came up there, he robbed us. 
I, so, I would have argued that I could. That's what I'm saying. Why yeah. can't we keep it? He it, took all the rest of the money. Yeah, what did he say when he's giving you the 20s back? He so. said, thank y'all. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> and he passed. He everybody yeah. 20. He pat you on that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> he, made a, he made a sick crisscross applesauce. And that was his words. He said, sit down, crisscross applesauce. Is it, it, is it like less lap. of a crime to rob an Italian ice spot than to like, I mean, obviously a, a bank is different, right? A bank is like some other oh, level yeah, of federal, federal crime, right? Yeah. yeah. But like, why wouldn't you rob a jewelry store? You know what I'm saying? Even that is like, I know there's like Grand Larson. I know there's like levels, but I'm assuming if you're robbing a few thousand dollars from an Italian ice shop, you're yeah. sort of hitting that standard anyway. I just wouldn't waste my time. I would just go to a jewelry store. That it is. just yeah. makes no time. sense. Yeah. I would guess that it's easier because it's probably higher security at a jewelry store. Oh, yeah. They Drew, probably they have a button. Lock the door. Oh, yeah, that is true. Yeah. They got an armed security guy guard. Yeah, they got the yeah. gem button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> you don't want to get shot. That's why, Louis. Yeah. They have the same button that rub and tug Chinese places have. They got to try. You. They gotta look at your face first and go click. Yeah, yo. They got yeah. that button in the uh, in the PPA office. I found out. What's the PPA? The office? Philadelphia Parking Authority. Because they, uh, I was give you tickets. I was like park. yelling. Oh, you'll kill them. Yeah, I yeah, was yelling yeah, at the yeah, lady 100%. through the glass, and then they were like, "I can't help you," and then just left. And then I was like, "I'm not leaving until y'all get me on the payment plan." And they were like, "Is that a threat?" And I was, <laughs> I was, I was there's no threat. What are you talking about? Yeah, I was trying to get <laughs> them, her money. That's them looking for a threat. <laughs> yeah, I, was, yeah. I was literally trying to hand her money under the thing. She was like pushing it back at me. You're like, Miss, I just like to pay you for my car. It's like, are you threatening me? <laughs> <laughs> but then they, uh, I wouldn't leave, and then they hit the button on me. It was like a silent alarm, and then this giant fucking security dude. He's oh, like, "You gonna be a problem?" I was I was like, nah, not really. Silent alarm is not good. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. always freak out in there. In well, that's the why they made office. it a uh, like a, a federal offense, and it's like uh, to like attack like cab drivers. Yeah. If you punch a cab driver, it's like a fucking it's real deal shit. Same thing with like um, MTA employees. MTA employees. PPA like, is like that. Where uh, I was telling somebody this recently, like PPA officers used to have completely different colored uniforms. And people were just going up and beating the shit out of them. Yeah. And then they started dressing them like cops. Yeah, they dress like cops. People are too dumb and won't beat them up. Yeah, when I, did I get a ticket, like a meter maid? They they put them in a police uniform. Is that what a PPA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so meter maid. Yeah, yeah, they they dress them like cops. But I know, if I don't see a gun. Yeah, because they're Indian. (laughs) (laughs) If I don't see a gun. I mean, I will, I will say anything to that cop. You're oh, not a real cop. Sure. Yeah. Not, you're, you're, you can't do anything. They don't even have a taser. They can't do yeah, anything. They, don't have shit. No. they, they have a fucking whistle, clipboard. No whistle, and nothing. if they swing on you, you can sue the PPA. So that's oh, the, yeah. true. You just go up to them, call them ugly, tell them they're fucking their mom gay, tell them whatever you want, bro. <laughs> yeah, for they real. They can't do shit. I was in there one day and it was this Arab guy and he was cursing the bitch the fuck out. There's always some attitude, either fat Puerto Rican or fat black lady behind the thing. Yep. He's cursing this bitch the fuck out. And then she was like, sir, you have to stop. You have to stop. And then he turned around and looked at me. He said, hey, do they arrest? Do they arrest? And I said, bro, you can get arrested anywhere, dog. I said, honestly, you can get arrested anywhere, dog. I said, you should chill out. He was freaking the fuck out. Then he made cardiac arrest. He was pointing at the lady behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I say, that's not a question you ask. Yeah, it's fucking uh, crazy. The, what was the movie where they were? Was it Money Train? Where they the the MTA employee was in the booth and they fed gasoline into it and they lit him on fire? Oh shit! I ain't seen Money Train in a minute. But I fantasize about it. every time I deal with an MTA employee. Every time I deal with a person at the airport, uh, one of the fucking yo, anyone behind the glass. They're the they TSA people. Them, They're the worst. It's crazy. It's, it's the they hire, they hire the same people that would work at Wawa. Yes, it's the 100%. Same. Actually, they they're better at Wawa. 100%. They are. They, they are better they, at Wawa. They have good Way nicer. Yeah. At Wawa. I, Way I mean, nicer. it's it's not that crazy that those are the same people usually. Like you get fired from one and go to the other. And yeah, then go no, to TSA. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking bonkers, dude. Yeah. yeah. And then it's different rules at every fucking airport. And it's a weird thing you do when you're in an airport. You feel like you're under some sort of like. Federal scrutiny, but I don't think yeah. any of that's true. I think you yeah. can just fucking run amok in an airport. Oh, yeah, you probably When you see can. people getting into fights, I don't think they get into any more trouble than if they were fighting in a dance. Yeah, it's true. I think it's just the same shit. You think I'm wrong about that, Paco? Shut up, Paco. You no, I, think, <laughs> I agree. I think they just walk them out and then they're like, just get out of here. Yeah, right. Yeah. The, the dude yeah. that was singing, uh, you, you see the guy in Detroit, he's freaking <laughs> yeah. out. He's like, I'm not afraid. <laughs> you take a stand. He's singing the Eminem song. Dude, he's losing his mind and a cop has a gun pointed at his yes. head. He's like, I'm not. Not afraid. <laughs> Good. I think they just walk Yo. him out of there and they're like, you got to go. Just yeah. get off our property. Yo, the worst part of that video was how he looked around like other people were going to start singing with him. Like, he looked around like, I'm not afraid. Like, bro. Ooh, you guys don't nobody, remember this? <laughs> <laughs> like, nobody joined in the song, bro. People get worked up, though. I do. I, I read a thing and it was just a, it was a hoax. I read a hoax like mm. two weeks ago and it was like, 
there were these like it was like I don't even know exactly what it was. It was like it was like some South Dakotan compound mm. was like having a, a standoff with like uh, federal agents. What? And it was a whole long yeah. thing that I read, and I was yeah. like, "Oh shit, it's going down yeah, it's right now. Let's go!" Yeah. I wanted to go to South Dakota. Yeah. And put it on side. I was like, "It's a new nation, <laughs> revolution." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think about how many people what? that had their guns like ready to fucking rock as they were reading. Yeah, this. Yeah, true, dude. Some guy at my job the other day like stopped everything he was doing, sawzall in hand, cutting shit. Stopped everything, and uh, he got like a, a somebody sent him a tweet, but it was like seventy six members of the National Guard killed in Boston during a gun That's buyback no, no, program. No, this is, yeah. Yeah. This is what yeah. I what? He's like, dude. He's like, it's all going down right now. And then <laughs> I just this me. I, this is the exact story I'm talking I about. Yo, Google what? immediately. It was like hoax Hopes. from twenty thirteen. Yes. <laughs> yes. This got me like a motherfucker. I was like, yo, I need some guns. I was like, it's it was what? going he was fucking ready. down. He was about Dougie. to call our boss. He's like, yo, we got to we gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yo, we can't finish work today, dude. Oh, my God. Do you guys have guns? Yeah, I got yeah, two. I, got, I only got one. Drew has, like, loose guns. Yeah. <laughs> He's got loose he, guns. He has guns lying around. He it, does. They're not mean? loose. They're, but guns. you don't know where they're at? No, no, no. I know. Bro, where... you go like this in his couch, there's a gun in there. I have guns in different that, parts yeah. of the house. It is anywhere. Nice. Yeah. Like one like taped under the table yep. right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, something better not happen. guns. Yo, he got wild attachments. He got the star the, the starship uh the Star Wars Star Trooper attachments. But he keeps the attachments in different areas too. <laughs> so he's gonna walk through the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo. Yeah. No, I got uh, I had thirteen handguns at one point and two shotguns. And I cut it back to three handguns, two shotguns. What did you do with the other ten handguns? I so I Sold got them. them on the black market. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those things are going crazy in Philly right now. <laughs> They're making a name for themselves, dude. <laughs> it's like when kids go to college, you just got to let them spread their wings. Yeah. No, uh, I, I got them from my cousin who, like, he got arrested. They were all his guns, and the state tried to, like, confiscate them all. So rather than them sit in a police locker until that got cleared up, he transferred them to me. He looked for a loo- he got a, a yeah, loophole, yeah, yeah. and we, gave, we, he gifted them to you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then nice. he beat the case, and then we gave them back. Okay. Yeah. Very smart. Very cool. Yeah, you don't want them taking your guns. You no. know, you know if you, you know if you have your license to carry, and uh, if you kill somebody, and then let's say you call the cops, they take that gun during the whole investigation, and it's like, bro, I called the cops. Yeah. yeah. That's why I, you got. I think my what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Right. How you gonna take my gun? It's crazy. You guys never had guns? No, dude. We're never. Fucking, no. We're pussy. Oh, y'all in New York? That's what. Well, I'm in Jersey. Oh, all right. But okay. I, I could get a gun now, but I just feel like I don't want to. I don't want to have a gun. I'm too angry. I'm surprised Zach's never yeah. had a gun. Right, not at one. I, I grew up in Jersey, but I moved to New York pretty young, so I've been in New York since I'm 17. Mm. So anytime I would have had a gun. What's the best weapon you've ever owned? I got a, a claw knife like a Hannibal Lecter carries. Okay. Ooh. Oh, and it's got nice. The thumb thing. Yeah. yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, I that's keep that nice. by the bed. I got a machete with my face on it, <laughs> so I can't kill anybody <laughs> with that. Oh yeah, you can't kill anybody with that. <laughs> <laughs> our uh, our barber killed uh, our barber's mom killed somebody with a, a cane sword. Yeah, free her, dude. Yeah, free a her. Sword, a sword that was like in, hidden in the inside cane? of her cane. Yeah. yeah, and she killed some guy. Some guy was beating her son up. Our barber's brother was beating was beating him uh, was beating him up, and then she threw the blue liquid in his face. <laughs> right, yeah. sprayed him with the alcohol in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right, and she's like a seventy year old lady, and she was hitting the guy with the cane, and then the the, the she, thing came out. The thing came out. And she chopped his head and off. Then she did like <laughs> this, and it stabbed him in the, under his armpit and hit his heart and killed him. No way. Yeah, yeah. bro. That's the type of thing too. You don't even know you did it. You're like. Pfft. Yeah, and then he, he walks away. He's like, mm. yeah. yeah, that's literally what happened. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. And then, cool. and then dead. Yeah, then he fell out, and then our barber's brother stood over top. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, pussy. That was the fucking <laughs> bitch. Can you imagine dying and somebody saying that while you're dying? <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out, <laughs> man. Hair cut around forty thin. Motherfucker, you couldn't handle my grandma. <laughs> Eastside clips. <laughs> 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 Dude, all that guy's friends have to know he died via old lady. That sucks. <laughs> oh, he's like thirty so. years old. He's thirty years old. Big ass white yeah. guy. I never Big thought ass about white that. guy too. Yep. I was imagining a black guy the whole yeah. time. Yeah. He was a Viking looking dude. Yeah, he, he was huge. Be- beating the shit out of this guy. Why was he beating the shit out of the guy? Because the over guy, yeah, over a girl. The yeah. guy's girlfriend cheated on him with one of this big white guy's friends. So then the guy ended up punching one of the friends and then he tried to walk to his mom's car afterwards. And then it wasn't even his girl. No, it was the white guy man. died over some fucking yeah, friendship. Over his friend's oh, girl. Yeah. Fuck, doggy. Yes. How bad Stupid. was the chick? You know the chick? No, I don't know her. I never seen her. We should interview her. We, we should find should. her. We should find out. 
what the aftermath was. She was just a hoe. We was just a some whore. Some whore. He died over some whore that he didn't even get his dick wet. Dick wet. Nope. His it was his friend's dick getting wet, and he that's died some, over that. That's Damn. some white guy shit right there. Yeah, some stupid yeah. shit. I'd be so fucking pissed. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, that was me. As, as I'm so dying, I'm like, can you please at least give me some pussy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just play yeah. my yeah. bonnet for a second. Just please make me come, please. I'm gonna die. Please, <laughs> mommy, mommy, please. You <laughs> make me come, please. <laughs> have, you, have you ever like experienced that level of fear? Like, like I'm gonna I'm, die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah, but not where I could cry. I was I was drowning. A couple times. I've almost drowned a few times at this what point. What the fuck? Really? And you can't cry. It sucks. You're like, <laughs> If you cry, you drown faster. True. Yeah, yeah. You're adding to the body of water. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're displacing the pool with your feet. Yeah, no, you start drinking your tears and the yeah. water. It's a nightmare. It's a, Twice I've almost drowned. The first time I was, uh, there was a place called the Deep Hole in Rock, or actually it was in Orange County, New York, which is like right above Rock County where I grew up. And it was just like one of these spots where it was like ice cold, like mountain water and you would jump off of cliffs into this water. And it had rained for like maybe a week before, like every day, a torrential downpour. So when we got there, usually it's like a thing where you just jump in, very calm. Yeah. It was like rushing water, like a, like oh, a faucet shit. going down into the area where you jump. Right. Right. So we're like, oh, I don't know if we should do it. I'm like, no, I was like, I, I can fucking do this. Let's go. And I jumped straight in. And the water pressure pushed me, it, it pinned me to the bottom of the, what? the, and it was like 20 feet deep. Like, I mean, it was so much pressure and I was just like, I felt everything just, damn. And I'm just trying to swim up, trying to swim up, trying to swim up. And it literally, at one point I was like, oh, I'm going to die. And I was like, I was about to just like breathe and die and fucking, Fuck. and then I just reached the top and then I was like maybe fucking 200 yards down, like downstream. Damn. So you, you accepted your fate and then you got pushed up? Yeah. Damn, dude. It was Muhammad. That, that's yeah, it was yeah. That was Muhammad. Uh, Allah, Allah. There was only... <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah. He saved you, bro. Yeah, it was dude. Allah. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude. I, I've only experienced like that death fear in dreams, and I never like handle it well. It's always just full waterworks. Like, oh, please, no. no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just crying. Oh, I'll suck your dick. Yeah. <laughs> like that yeah, kind yeah. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for no reason. Nobody's even asking to suck you. <laughs> no. yeah. I, I just wanted you to hand me the water ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really ever have dreams about dying or anything like that. It's not, uh, it's never, it's, it's, it's usually a dream that I have killed somebody. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. the the walls are finally closing in. That's a regular. Oh dream. damn! Yeah, that's, that's repressed up. trauma. Yeah, maybe that's you having a secret you're afraid of people knowing. Oh no! Damn! Ooh. Look, Zach. In terms <laughs> oh, of by dream. the way, let it, all the secrets. I have like eight. They all just went in my head. I was like, you can't, you can't know any of them. <laughs> <laughs> what the secrets? My secrets. There's only eight secrets up there. I got at least eight to the death secrets. You guys will never know. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. You'll never know. Can I only we get got a hint one. At one. That's of them? crazy. All right, I'll give you one of them. Yeah. <laughs> you, know them what, right you know what? Up. Let's make this a special show. <laughs> uh, 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 Damn, shit. eight to the death secrets is nuts. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, yeah, I, I have that dream all the time, and then I have dreams that my teeth are crumbling out of my mouth. Same, I had that dream before. That means uh, you're going through a change. <laughs> I looked it up. I've read that it's uh, that you're uh, upset about not feeling in control of your life. The teeth mm. one. The teeth one. Really? That's my secret. <laughs> That's secret number three. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't know. Those, but those are like the only recurring dreams that I have. Sometimes I have dr a dream that like I lost my son. Mm -hmm. Like I had that where like you know like I got off the subway and he was still on the subway and then like oh, me trying me trying to get uptown to the next stop before yeah. him, but I keep on getting distracted. I losing my way. I can't get a taxi. Just this feeling Fuck, of like bruh. yeah, that shit sucks. You ever lost him in real life? No, I lost my son for like four minutes when he was two years old. Damn, where'd he go? We was Child at, Protective Services. <laughs> <laughs> we was at Doherty Park, and he just walked off. I had ordered, a, like, this big-ass bucket of French fries, and it was, like, a family trip. Like, all my cousins and shit, like, crowd around me. Taking Black fries people out. eat all food in a bucket. Yo, you might they eat, like, they're like seagulls. They're yeah. like, <laughs> if you don't serve Martin food in a bucket, Martin. 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 <laughs> Put that shit if in you bucket. don't serve Naeem's food in a bucket, he is not satisfied. His son <laughs> drives one and flies away with it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, man, one of them shit on me. <laughs> I heard that's good luck, though. If a black guy shits, a black on, you. shits on you. So, so you lost your kid at the park? He just walked if away. If you feed him out yeah. the seltzer, they explode. <laughs> that might be true. I never had that shit a day in my life. <laughs> yeah, no, no. He, so everybody crowded around me. He was standing right here, and then he walked off. So then when everybody moved away, I'm like, damn, what the fuck? They ate all my fucking fries. And I turned and looked, and I'm like, 
where the fuck did he go? And me and his mom was calling for him, calling for him. And then he just ran out of some crowd like, ah. He was two years and old. And every, every second that goes by, you're like, fuck, he's being molested. Yes. And I'm like, somebody's every, fucking my boy. I try, to, I try to talk about this on stage, and I'll get there one day. But it's like if my son ever got kidnapped... I'd have like an hour to get him back before I'm like, you know what? He's used. I can't. <laughs> it's like the five second rule for kids. Yeah. <laughs> God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. As long as, as long as it happens within the hour. Otherwise, yeah, I can't yeah. deal with that trauma. Uh, on a scale yeah. of one to ten, how pissed would you be if your kid got molested? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'd be I, fucking furious. I'd be more if annoyed if my, chick, if my chick got raped. I'd be fucking really annoyed. Oh, yeah, yeah that's over. You got to break up with it. Yeah, that, how yeah. am I going to, how do you, how do I breach trying to fuck again? At what point is she not going to just tremble and cry every time I try oh, to touch yeah, that's her? that's over. She's ruined. I know. Yeah, I mean, that's your whole thing, too. What, raping? Rape fantasy. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, fantasy. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you try and she's like, you're not doing it right. <laughs> I should host work my, so hard at this. I should host my own rape fantasy camp, like they have rock star fantasy camp. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought where we, meant, we just kidnap teenage girls and rape them. I thought you yeah, meant like the, rape fantasy football. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. also works. You're a first round draft pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is choose the over under. <laughs> Yo. Usually she's under. <laughs> Zacko Snake. Hell yeah. We got some fucking <laughs> jokes, guys. We're fucking out here. We nice. got some fucking yuck em ups, dude. <laughs> That's yeah. what we do. Yep, and Angelo's fun. was great, but I got to be honest with you, doggy. Angelo's? Call me a fucking Taurus all you want, man. I, I'll tell you right now. And you said this last night, Drew. Geno's dog. Yeah, Geno's and Pats are fucking dope. I tried people hate. You, what? I feel like it's 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 a thing that like Philly people are like, no, Geno's and Pat. No, they're actually fucking great. They're really good. The sandwiches taste good. They and do taste I'll good. say debatably better than the one I got at Angelo's. Angelo's was the bread was a little dry. Geno's and Pats, dude, like dude, me and I mean, Craig went there last night. We were in and out in five minutes. Yeah, no, it is none of the bullshit. Is that the one with the racist? Is that the racist one too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you got racist be one. Yeah, yeah you yeah, got to yeah. be English walking up there. You try to fucking order in Spanish, dude. They'll kick you the fuck out. I love that. It's so American. Yeah, it dude. is. Dude, yeah. their whole wall is just police badges. It's, that's, <laughs> it is. It is. It's, it's like merch. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I love it, dude. Delisandro's is better than Gino's and Pets. I got I to gotta try Delisandro's. I, you know, I, yeah. Bro, you I mean, if it's you, an Italian dude's name in the form, it's going to be good. It's not fucking disrespectful. You know that I hate. Uh, I've trapped you, dude. What, you, backwards? I, he knows I hate backwards. Oh, really? So I show up, you think he would just have a white owl or a vanilla Dutch ready to rock for me? Not in my house. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. Not in my house. You saw Joe Rogan saying, uh, give me, shout me out again. I for saw saying, that for rolling up. He said you he rolled up my fucking He hasn't up. met me yet, dude. Can I tell you what the problem with Joe is? He's a fucking rich, white fucking guy. And yeah. he, he doesn't even, I'm not doing anything special. I'm literally rolling a vanilla Dutch the way a vanilla Dutch is rolled. Yeah. Joe is just so out of touch with yeah. Puerto Rican culture. <laughs> he that he's never seen it. Yeah. Yeah, he he thinks I'm that. like a fucking Cuban, like fucking cigar maker. <laughs> Bro, I'm rolling a vanilla Dutch the way a vanilla Dutch is rolled. Yeah. And but, by the way, roll. Puerto Ricans, don't, they, they think that I'm fucking whack for unwrapping it, cracking it, and then rewrapping yeah. it. Puerto Ricans just go crack it straight down the middle. You think you know all that horse shit. Like this. Yeah, 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 that's what Puerto Ricans do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I... I the white, you do it like a white person. The white person in me yeah. unwraps. Then, but Joe was so impressed when he saw me do this, <laughs> and he's brought it up on multiple. Po- I don't want to. I don't want to break his heart. I'm like Joe. It's not impressive. I was like, you're just showing how out of touch <laughs> you are with Puerto Rico. Yeah, you right. should offer him lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, if you take him to the hood, he's gonna be impressed with everybody. Yeah, like, he's like, oh my god, these black people. They're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're technicians. <laughs> Holy shit! <they're- laughs> are you see what? No, Joe. We don't have. We're not bazillionaires. We don't have a fucking blunt rolling fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, these are fucking disgusting. These are the worst ones. You love it, dude. <laughs> they make me a little sick. That's what everyone says. That's the best part about it. <laughs> that's the thing. You smoke these with bunk ass weed because you need the the thick tobacco leaf mm-hmm. to also get you high. Yeah. Yes. Right? Because the weed's not that good. That. Once you have good now weed, you're, now, now you're coming at my whole fucking thing, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, but, now you're disrespecting my fucking family, dude. I'm, but I'm telling you what's going on because I think this is probably decent weed, right? It's all right. So unless you're smoking shit weed, there's no reason to smoke these ones because they specifically taste bad. They're only designed for people in the hood to get a little bit higher. And it's just, a different eye with that. With yeah, that, you're depriving yeah. your brain of oxygen. You it's, are, it's like for carcinogens. Sure. It's, 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 yeah, bro. It's not good. That should have changed you. You're yeah. not going to be the same after that, Lewis. No, you're right. White owls are really good for you and stuff. <laughs> like, it's not that they're good for you, but these, look at the color of these. <laughs> That's what you like. You want the look dark at, skin backwood. Yeah, no. you want a black ass backwood. Yeah. That's the best Ruch. kind of backwood. Yuck. I got light skin ones yeah, for you. Joe Rogan said 
that I'm the best blunt. You guys don't understand. Oh, he, he smokes a backwood. What? He's yeah. going to go crazy. He smokes a backwood. He wouldn't, know. he wouldn't do it. They're going to rename Protect Our Parks, dude. It's going to be us. <laughs> <laughs> Call that shit the backwoods. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Protect the backwoods. Protect the backwoods, dog. That's Onyx fucking comes crazy. out with fucking alpha blunts. <laughs> <laughs> he should make blunts. Yeah. That'd be a good thing. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I think everyone should smoke backwards. Mm. It's a different high. We, might have, to, we might have to go to. Is, there's like a bodega around here. Yeah. yeah. I probably have to go get fucking some white owls or something after. They this. got white owls. So I don't even like white. I just smoke blunts of the head so often now that a white owl is the perfect size. A Dutch, even a Dutch at this point, a is a little too, too thick. Too it, long. It, too it's thick. too much. It's it. too much. You have a thing on your tooth, Lewis. Yeah, because I'm smoking a bunk know, ass dude. backwood. I'm a good friend. I, I told dirt. you that, dude. If I, had, if I wasn't your boy, I, I wouldn't have, have told you. You're right. There's dirt in my mouth because I'm putting a dirt blunt. In I'll, I'll my never teeth. tell you again. What the fuck? <laughs> I hope you have ink on your face for the rest of your life, forever, dude. And I'll never let you know. I'm just saying, dog. It's Yo. a little disrespectful. Knowing how much I hate, we've had the discussion multiple times. Mm -hmm. My bad, dude. The thick ass care. backwood. That's just a leaf. And, and he gave me a whole. You should have seen the fucking emotional speech he gave me to be on the podcast too. And I was coming the whole time. Nice. I wasn't. I was like, oh, let me just check my schedule. He's like, bro, come on, man. Like, it yo. wasn't. It, no, you're making it sound good. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't that guy. It wasn't that guy. You don't want to do that. That's not crazy. You was not gay, Drew. Come on, dog. You're making us look bad. He, he was. He was drunk. He was really drunk. He was a little glassy eyed. He was like, yo, man, it means so much. I was like, all right. Was this Thursday? This is Thursday. Yeah, anything could happen. Oh yeah, he was here. Yeah, I probably did say that. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Yo, no, he I, was I, Friday, I was standing on. I was like, we can just have Zach, bro. Fuck yeah, it. Yo, fuck Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be watching Wonka right now in my hotel room. You fucking motherfucker. I like the new Wonka. Did you guys see it? I haven't seen it. Yet. No, I haven't seen it. People hate it. But who's in it? Johnny Depp? No, 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 no. That's that's uh. They that's the last one. Oh, okay. yeah. That the, sucks. This is uh, Chalamet. Yeah, they remade it again. Oh, okay. Is it as musical but as it's the a original? Prequel. Yeah, it's more musical than the original, I Damn. think. Which I, I didn't mind. I don't, yeah, I do I don't not, like musicals. I don't see. I grew up in high school musicals. I was in musical oh, theater. Oh, you were a theater kid. I was a theater kid. Oh, nice. Yeah. and my uh, But I wasn't a theater kid. Like, I wasn't a faggot. Like, I right. I was a theater kid. Like, I, the theater kids were like, yo, why is Luis Gomez here? Yeah. <laughs> like, why is he, like, why? And I, like, I just was like, yo, this could be hilarious. I'm going to start doing theater. Yeah. And then I did. I, I was in, I, when I joined theater, I was in the after school program. I would go to school from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. I wasn't even allowed in the regular school. Um, and I was like, I wait, why weren't you allowed in regular school? Because I was a bad kid, but I wasn't like a, I wasn't like a, a fighter or. Druggie. You had to go to night school like a I, pregnant I, bitch. That's crazy, bro. You go to night school. That's nuts. Like like a pregnant there bitch. was two pregnant bitches in the night I know, school. Uh, that's where all the pregnant bitches went to school at night. That's crazy. And I was the first kid to ever get out of night school. Like once you once you went, that was that. They they, they, yeah. they never they, they never even had anybody graduate from high school through the night school program. Right. But I actually got back in and. Went one of the reasons was because I wanted to be in theater. I was like, I really want to be in theater. Damn, <laughs> that theater night. saved you. Yeah, theater because saved my of life. Lewis, they had to add the H and the T to night school. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, sir. Yo, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, <it> was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen the white but black people at night school. It was all Puerto Ricans and black kids. It was one white trash kid who yeah. I remember. Why, I remember he was just like a tough ass kid, and he got into a fight with one of the Dominican kids after school one day. I was, I had so much respect for this white kid. I was like, this guy could fucking because. In my mind, I was like, white kids were just pussies compared to the... Where I grew up, that's what it was. It was yeah. The Hispanic kids and the black kids were just night and day tougher than the white yeah, kids. Yeah, it, it it's closer to it a night and afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rock, rock, tone wise. Rockland, Rockland <laughs> County. <laughs> <and dusk. laughs> North Rockland High School was like, it was, it was like kids from Haverstraw Middle School and kids from Farley Middle School and everyone from, from Haverstraw Middle School was like Puerto Rican and black kids and all the kids from Farley were like white kids who were from nice families Yeah, and they just mixed everybody at the end but it was definitely, Damn. yeah. That's why when people, when people say that uh, black people can't be racist, that's a complete lie. Because, like, it was one white kid in my neighborhood, and we used to give him hell. Like, we fucking, like, we gave him all type of crazy nicknames. We called him White Joe. Like, his name was Joe. We called him White Joe. Then we started calling him Ouija. Like, and then we just start calling him a whole bunch it, of... You guys are lazy? Yeah, yeah. We just bang. You guys couldn't get the, white all the letters yeah, out. Yeah, like, much. White Joe, Purple Drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, just mash it together. But yeah, dog, he ain't know who the fuck he was. We fucked his mind all up. Poor guy. Poor guy. He was stabbed by an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, what's White Joe doing now, dude? 
Yo, he's actually a, uh, he won like a Grammy. He's a producer. He yeah, makes like beats. The most like successful that. person out of the neighborhood. Yeah, he is. You guys bully him. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was the only success. white one, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, yes, I'm White Joe. Good job, black guys. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy no. whatever this hierarchy you think you have is right now. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Black Naive, Black Tyreek, and Black Malik. You fucking dumbass. <laughs> I'm going to be going to college now. Enjoy your <laughs> Yo. streets. <laughs> no, actually, Meek Mill is more successful than him. He's from the neighborhood. Nice. So. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> what was your nickname for him? What, Meek Mill? Yeah. <laughs> Black Meek. <laughs> Black Meek, right. Hell yeah. Black Robert. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, nice, bro. <laughs> Sometimes you got to give white motherfuckers nicknames. Yeah, we didn't have enough black dudes in my school. It's not my fault, dude. I would have had more if I could have, but. You probably was, you was the black boy at your school, weren't you? Yeah, one of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was me and two actual ones, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they was dweebs, though, weren't they? Yeah, they were adopted. Black suburban boys be dweebs. Whenever black dudes came through my school, they were always adopted. That makes sense. Damn, adopted by a white family? Yeah. That sucks, like Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> That's why he all fucked up like that. You see what I'm saying? You think that would suck, being adopted by a white family? Hell yeah, that would have rule. You're going to oh be a cornball. Why would you want to do that to yourself? It's, uh, you know, uh, financial freedom. Uh, okay, you'll have some money. <laughs> just fucking... Literacy? Just fucking a strong foundation, you'll, you'll love. Safe. Cable? <laughs> Somebody to read to me every night? I don't know. It seems like it'd be Pain a pretty... groceries. <laughs> <laughs> That's, Let's that, keep going. That, keep is going. Shit, that, that is some shit that has happened like in my life recently. It's like I always have food in the fridge. And that mm -hmm. is like, I'm talking about just in the past like four years, where it's like if you open my fridge, you're like, it looked like my friend's fridge looked like yeah. when I went over their house, mm -hmm. where it's like there's snacks and there's fruit and there's eggs and there's yeah. meat and there's like fucking there's stuff in the freezer. You go in my freezer, there's meats and shit. Mm -hmm. It's in Same, the frozen because they're going to go bad if we didn't, like who does that? Yeah. Shout That's out to crazy. the EBT program, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got more food than ever. So, yeah, I, got, I got food for the first time. When I was a kid, I we had no food. We never had food. Damn. There would always be just like... Uh, just like milk and a cheesecake. Did you guys ever try and get on food stamps? Yeah, we were on food stamps. My mom oh, would yeah. sell the food stamps for half the value. No, I mean value. as an adult. Yeah. Oh no, no, I'm, no. I have too much pride for that. <laughs> That's what you want. I know. <laughs> I know you're on food stamps, but I, I really did. I, my mom, when she was on food stamps, I, I remember just being a kid, being like, "Just fucking work, you lazy yeah. bitch." Yeah. I'm, all, I'm on my way out of it, dude. Hell yeah. I'm on my way back. Oh, yeah, to now it. you you working now? They are gonna cut you off. Relax. <laughs> they gonna cut you off, bro. <laughs> you got a job. It's over. Yeah, and nobody knows about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never got food stamps as an adult. When I used to work on the uh, provisions truck, I talk about it in my act, we delivered to delis. We would go to like Patterson, Jersey City. And if it was the first of the month, we'd be like, all right, we're skipping these three stores because it would just be chaos. Yeah. yeah. Shit fly. It's like the beginning of Willy Wonka when all the kids are taking all the candy yeah, off. The yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. First of the month when that fucking, when those, yeah, when when those that check hit. came in. Yep. They're yeah, just we, we would have forearming fucking, the aisles. I would have God zebra damn. cakes and yodels for three days. And me and my fat sister would just fucking eat all the, like, just to the third. By right. the fourth, we'd have no snacks left in the house. Damn. That fucking that was sucks. That. Yeah. Damn, were you, like, pretty chunky? Yeah, I got chunky in the third grade. That, that's interesting, being poor and fat. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, it's the only country where that happens, probably. Yeah, where you can be poor and fat. Because that—that's a sign of opulence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, what well, the hell does that mean, dude? Yeah, but I, I just pretended I understood. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it is a sign of opulence. You're like, sure. of course yeah. it is. <laughs> I, I I concur. <laughs> Rob, you Rob, you beweather me sometimes. <laughs> be wither. <laughs> Yo, stop be hooving, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, like. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because well, the food's shitty, and you, I didn't know what healthy eating was until I was a full grown adult, like mm -hmm. late twenties. I didn't understand at all the slightest bit of what eating healthy was. So, yeah. you know, you just would you, you my my mom would buy just the shittiest food possible with food stamps. So that's all you would eat, and then you'd eat fucking, and then you'd have like, you know, I, I'd always work. I worked since I was eleven, so I'd always have a little bit of money, and I would just buy candy and cake and fucking yeah, just buy a bunch of snacks and buy shit. a bunch of shit, dude. The good stuff. Damn, yeah, bro. I have I probably ain't had candy till I was in maybe ninth or tenth grade. Like ever? Yeah, cause my mom was like heavy organic. You like, didn't do Halloween, to... bro. I'm Muslim. No, my mom would go to Fresh Fields or Whole Foods. It's called Whole Foods now. It used to be called Fresh Fields. She just bought a bunch of organic. Was that clothes. awkward for a black person to shop at? <laughs> Yo, listen, we were, the, we were the only black people in there back then. <laughs> Ever. Picking cotton off yeah. the bucket, you <laughs> Yeah, bro. That shit was crazy. Yeah, the entire cotton swab section was picked through. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those orange juice commercials where you reach through and it's a black hand that gives you cotton. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, my friends used to hate coming over because we had like a bunch of healthy snacks. 
That's great. Like though. protein That's bars great. and shit like that. That's it's the best thing in the world. My kid fucking eats super healthy. Yeah, it makes you, you strong know. as fuck. Yeah, but hey, it's not it's not like crazy like that. But yeah, he eats pr- pretty fucking healthy. I wish somebody yeah. taught me when I was a kid, but my mom was a junkie. So, <laughs> damn, well, she was on heroin. Yeah, damn, so she used to be sleep all the time. Well, she was off of heroin. She was on um, what's it called? The uh, Percocets. No, 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 Oxys. The the liquid. Suboxone. No, but the before Suboxone came. Nyquil. Out. Oh, uh, methadone. Fuck. Methadone. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Was that like um, codeine or something? Kind of like heroin. It's kind of like heroin. Yeah, it was a little orange bottle, and she would fucking drink it, and I said it was her back medication. Damn. And she would just fucking zone out smoking cigarettes in her bed and almost let her bed on fire every Jeez, day. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. So you could do whatever you wanted. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't like a bad kid like that. He was that. a theater kid, dude. I, I, but I wasn't yeah. a theater kid. Stop saying that. I feel like what you're doing. <laughs> you have to, I feel you like you have what to get ready doing. for the play in the morning. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, sneak out for what? <laughs> I got lines to memorize. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I have an outlet for my truth. <laughs> you know what? Uh, damn. <laughs> yeah, was you sneaking bitches in there? You had hoes coming through sometimes? Oh, I didn't start getting bitches until... I mean, I started getting pussy when I was 16. That's when right. I... Oh, that's a good idea. But age. then I was also... Yeah. I was like a, you know, a serial monogamous in a long relationship. Right. And fucking, you know, so... I wasn't like sneaking bitches in. My mom would let my girlfriend come over by the time I was fucking... Yeah. She didn't care. You could have had the party house, though. No. Like you could have had all your homies come over. No. Running trains. No, no, it's not. <laughs> They're drawing dicks on your mom's yeah. face. <laughs> 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 Don't Damn, put her bro. hand in the water. She'll pay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Drawing yeah. treasure maps on her arms. <laughs> <laughs> like Momento. <laughs> no, I liked it. It was a bad joke, but I liked it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Momento. Had to go for it, dude. Damn, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Your parents being the fucked up shit sometimes. My dad was just like a. Alcoholic, kind of. He used to get drunk all the time. Nice. And Did you have the party house? No, because no. my mom was still there. My mom was a very responsible lady. And my dad was like a drug dealer. I never thought about drunk. that until you just said it, but certain people have houses that high school kids run trains in. Yeah, yes. And yes. it sometimes has nothing to do with those people. No, it doesn't. That sucks, dude. Yeah, that's true. Like yeah. Your house, like if a girl's just giving a train run in yeah. your house? Yeah. I, well, the guy that I'm nobody thinking ever, of. Nobody, no train has ever been run in the home of any of the participants. Trains yeah. are run <laughs> true. off no. premises yeah. every time. That's true. The, okay. The time that I ran a train that I'm thinking about at a high school party was at, uh, one of the nicest guys I know, but like his wife died and he was raising two kids and he was like always working out yeah, of town. Work. Just mm-hmm. like a nice dude that's struggling to like keep the house together and his kids would throw these fucking ragers yeah. and then we'd run trains on bitches on his bed. Oh my and that's god. Because cr- my boy Matt would be like, yo, you can't fuck in my room, go in my dad's room. Yo! <laughs> he just busted on his dad, man. It's kind of crazy. crazy. Like, all it was, like, it really was, it really was. <laughs> the dirtiest sluts in high school laying on this, this yo, hard working man's right. bed. I mean, it's like, it, it was a crime, and it should have been. <laughs> it was a crime. And it should have been. When you think about it, in, in retrospect, it's fine. You, you yeah. were a kid, too. Technically, yeah. you were being raped. We were all being raped, right? But No, he wasn't <laughs> fucking him. This, no, this poor, this poor girl, she was just hammered, and she just fucking, to let you and your dirtbag friends just fucking take turns on this poor girl. And she, no, you're, sometimes man, they're you're making it weird A lot now, of times, yo, no. in high school, they were sober. They weren't drinking yet. No, these bitches were all drunk. We, we, you were drunk, too. You're fine. Relax. It's all good. <laughs> We all ran trains. It's not a big deal. Yeah, you can run. Some bitches like getting trains ran Some on. People them. do. They do. Let like them it. have a sexual freedom, Lewis. Look, please. We, we would do. <laughs> when I drink, it's I'm still the same guy. I just allow my I allow myself to be a little bit freakier. That's yeah, it. for sure. And that's what all these bitches were doing. They wanted it. But. Yeah, they want it. They like trains. <laughs> but I think about every girl and that I ever knew to be a train run on. I was like, oh man. This poor fucking girl. She's like out there married to somebody right That's now. That's true. She's like, and he probably has no idea. Ladies, if you've ever had a train run, do not tell your fucking man. I dated a girl Never. who told me she got double teamed. And I, and I was like, no. Like, just like, it, I fell in love with her. And yeah. it was just a torture. Like, I, I could not not envision it. Yes. Yeah. I would always think about it. Yeah. My ex told me that. My ex told me that she had a, a train ran on her. Oh. And I remember, like, when we were together, and when she told me that shit, I'm like, well, how, like, why? I said, why'd you, like, why'd you do it? Like, what yeah. the fuck? And she was like, well, at the time, she was like, it was my boyfriend. And he said that if I really loved him, then I would let his friends, I would let his friends fuck me too. I was like, oh, oh this bitch God. is an idiot. Oh, I'm like, how is she fucking, <laughs> Wait, why if the you fuck really, am I with her? If you really loved me, that's don't he, let me and my boy hit? That's what he told her, yeah. 
Hmm. This is pissing me off. This is what a guy I am. I want to go find her and beat her ass right now. It's making <laughs> yeah, me so yo. mad, dude. <laughs> Fuck that whore. That yo. fucking bitch. Why would she tell you that? She should have never bitch. told me. It ruined us. Yo, it definitely ruined. And it ruined you. It took a little bit of your soul that day. Oh, it did. Because I'm like, I'm kissing this bitch in the mouth. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kissing her in the mouth. I heard my tongue all in her mouth. She done sucked three dicks at once, probably. Uh, damn. It sucks. Nah, you can't suck. think about that, dude. You got to close that out. You don't, you, you, uh, you, don't, you don't need to know. Women should not tell us that. Yeah, I don't, want to I don't ask things like that. I don't ask anything. I don't ask my girl's uh, body count. Yeah, I don't, I don't ask, ask that. You don't anything. have to ask, though. Women sometimes will tell that unprovoked. Yeah, they volunteer like, information. No, she knows yeah. better. She knows better than she knows me. better. Are you fucking crazy? Dude, this girl that uh, me and my friend John ran a train on, we saw her years late. This was when we were like 18, and we were sober for this. But uh, I think she had a boyfriend and she like really regretted it, but she wanted to fuck him and it was like the same thing where he's like, yo, my boy's got to come too. Yeah. But then we had sex with this girl and then saw her years later at my other friend's wedding and we were both in the wedding, like in the wedding party as his groomsman oh. and she was one of the bridesmaids and we saw her and she like broke down crying and like made the whole thing about herself and then oh, later right. on like told her, uh, her husband at the time. No, now, now oh, her husband. Man. No, she was like, "Yeah, I, I had sex with those two guys at the same time." No, well, and I really why would she do that? Made it a whole thing, and everyone's looking at us now. I'm like, Fuck. I'm like holding flowers like up on the altar. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're fucking, you're, fucking uh, you're escorting somebody's aunt down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I didn't want to do it, but. Yeah, oh, crazy fuck, shit. Yo. That's some shit. Truly right there, insane. Buddy. That's probably you can't fucking run te- you can't run trains on chicks that are in relationships because they will if they get caught, they're gonna say you they raped her. I think yeah, it was just a horny say you girl. Raped her, doggy. I think Damn. she was just a horny chick that was like in an argument with her boyfriend. I knew guys, then... I knew guys, it was a big case at Penn State. I I knew like friends of the guys involved. Yeah. And these four guys, they fucked this girl, they ran a train on her at a party, right? And she was with a guy, and then the guy found out, and she was like, no, these guys gang raped me at this point. Damn, bro. Now, luckily, these guys were real scumbags, and they secretly videotaped it. Okay, so, all right. And this is put it in my mouth! <laughs> <laughs> my ass is loading! <laughs> my ass is loading! <laughs> these guys were real deal fucking dirtbags. This is fucking, you Yo. know, this is... 2005 yeah. Penn State. This is just yeah. when guys were fucking dogs. And these guys not only ran this train, but they videotaped it, and she was like, blah, 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 blah. "Okay, so that's and they it. showed the tape in court." Oh, that's what the oh. fuck she gets. I'm happy that happened to her. That's what she gets. That's exactly Some what she gets. Evil shit, though. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I wish there was like a close up on that boyfriend's face in the yeah. courtroom. And then it just cuts back to her and it's a dumb ways to die. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, one of my homies when I was in college got locked up for that. Um, he got locked up for it? Yeah, because they ran a train on the girl. I went over there to get him some weed. And they was doing extra freaky shit. And I'm like, yo, here y'all go. And then they, I re- actually, I came over the next morning. And they ran a train with a girl. She was still there. And they were making fun of her when <laughs> good, she was good leaving. Good save, Naeem. No, it was. It was. I'm no, sure. no, no, I'm sorry. It was the next no, day. It, it was, was not when the crime was being committed. I was not thinking <laughs> no, that at all. It was. It was. <laughs> I'm sure it was the next morning because. I actually saw I was my giving her back shots up. Backwoods. Backwoods. <laughs> <laughs> back <shots>. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Because look, I, I gave her the weed. I gave him the weed. And, and she's like get, putting her clothes on leave. And they were making fun of her. And I'm like, bro, y'all shouldn't do this. No, this no, is no, not going to end up good. Yeah. And then she said that they raped You got to be nice to her. Yeah, you got to be nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. We appreciate what you just did for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Sorry Maybe. about your dad. <laughs> <laughs> the the yeah. lady that we had cry, she came back the next week and we did it again. So she did love it. Yeah. But she just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they like it. They Sometimes they like me it. And, she loved me, it. Me and Dave Smith double teamed a chick now who she like follows me on social media. She's my friend nice. on Instagram. She's married. Multiple kids. I'm like, this is like, damn. Her husband like, if, have a clue. if I'm her, I would literally, I would sever that connection. I was like, this is these. Yeah. There's never gonna be a paper trail to these two guys telling this story on a podcast. Yeah. I can say her yeah. name right now. Yeah, you could I should. Her. You, you could. I should say lady. her name. <laughs> oh, you could destroy her whole family. You know how much power you have in your hand. The kids are adorable too. The kids are the kids. <laughs> you could say fuck their, their future. Too. Up. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's got a fat porter. You get one of the tall Jewish. <laughs> 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 Damn, Damn, yo! I think that's a testament to your etiquette, though. What is? She, she's still friends with you. Still follows you. No hard I'm, feelings. I'm, honestly, I'm friends with 
almost every girl that I've ever dated to this day. I'm still friends, and it gets a little rocky with some of them, and it has been. But mm-hmm. I, you got to keep those bitches in check because they can ruin you. You have to keep True. them. <laughs> <laughs> These are the women that know the deepest, darkest secrets about you. How do you not want to keep them on your side? Do you yeah. guys not have nothing to hide? Yeah, no, it's true. I'm, I'm no, be friends. Hey, remember those you murdered somebody dreams? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had a, a girl I used to. I didn't really date her. She was, she was a girl that she had a boyfriend. When we was in college, and she was cheating on me with her boyfriend. When we were in college, and now they're married. And they came to the live podcast the other night. <laughs> we said, yeah, bro. I'm like, why the fuck would you? You why did you come? Why did that's you bring crazy. your wife here? Like, He's what laughing you do? the hardest. <laughs> He's like, nah, he was bad. Bro, he was. No, he's they were cool, having fun. He's a cool guy, though. They came to Ghosted before they came to Ghosted before that. Does he know? Bro, one time I was sleeping in her bed when we, my freshman year, and I woke up, and he was sitting here in the chair like this, staring at me. No. <laughs> and I was butt-ass naked. Like, I, no. I had to get dressed in front of him. Oh, he, he saw your dick? He saw my dick, bro. Damn. He was fucking dress? his girl, and he was just like... He was just sitting there in the chair. Can chair. you leave? Like, yeah. Well, yeah, what did you guys talk about? No, I said, I, I apologize. I said, I said, my bad, bro. But I, he was a senior, and I was a freshman, so we wasn't friends. And his girl Damn. was a freshman. You see what I'm saying? Dude, y'all had a very cool interaction the other. You guys was treated each other like guy? you were best friends. Cause, bro, cause you know what? I, cause after uh, after that, we got cool. Like, after that, I was like, yo, I hope we don't. Was, was this guy. also a black guy? Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's also a black guy. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro, we we shook hands. We we treated how white people treat it. We ain't what? beef about it. We, I was like, listen, bro. If I caught some bad. guy in my girl's bed, oh my god. Bro, can you imagine? I would come everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> give, give, give it to her, man. <laughs> give it to her. Cuckoo snake. <laughs> <laughs> can imagine. Yeah, yeah, bro. But I don't want to be a part of the freaky shit you're into, dude. What do you, you do way too nastier shit than me. Yeah, no, I'm not that. No, you're a freak. freak. You no, are no. a freak boy. Yeah, he he no, no, no. Here's, here's what I mean. Three swim in a hotel in Jersey. And he double penetrated. He, he, he had some other boy dick uh, touching his dick like oh, this. Strangers. through the body? And, and, no, but and, they were nice. <laughs> <laughs> they were nice. You, you don't deal with nice people. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, sometimes the, I don't. He, he was uh, in a train, and his boys lined up, and the girl was like, all right, you're good. Your dick's small. Yes. You're good. You're good. And then the the dude with like the small dick just like watched. Yeah. Oh, I would have gone to the back and I, I would have gone to the back of the line and be like, all right, maybe she won't notice yeah. when she's yeah. already oh, getting into like, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, put a hat on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just got here. Mm. Uh, you got an accent? Yeah. put an accent yeah. on. Hello. Yeah. Hello, hello. Or, uh, I'll gladly pay you for some pussy tomorrow. <laughs> Doggy. And she was married, too. It, yeah. was two, it was two girls. One one had a boyfriend, and one of them was married. And then it was, like, probably eight or nine of me and, uh, me and my friends. And then, like, they picked, like, three of my friends that couldn't, that they wouldn't allow to fuck. They was like, no, you're dick small. You're too aggressive. Fuck no. And they was just like. And then they would just stood there and watch this fucking thing. What did the aggressive guy watch? say? What the they fuck jerk? are you talking that about? That is what he said. Yeah, that is what he I'm said. I'm not fucking aggressive. <laughs> fuck you, bitch. Yeah, he freaked the fuck out. What, uh, <laughs> did they jerk their dicks off while you were fucking? They, uh, they almost said his name. My one homie did, yeah. He was, oh, there. He was just standing there like. Sad, dude. His little dick. Yeah, like, yep. Just fucking. Damn. Did that affect the vibe between you two? It did, bro. It forever changed our friendship. Yeah, yeah, he's like Naeem's got shotgun, like that kind of shit. Yeah, bro, you got to sit in the back now. You see what I'm saying? Oh, man. Hey, but you got to look at the floor. Don't you look at me, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that changed yeah. everything. That, that changed they, everything. They wanted to do a, a group cock rate, and I'm like, absolutely not. I'll, the I'll three do of it us. in a yeah. The yeah, three some of girl us. was going like look at our dicks and and measure them and say who had the biggest dick. On a, not not even in inches on a one out of ten scale, who had the best dick? Yeah, who had the, the best, best dick? dick. Not even yeah. big, it's just the best. I would say what you should do is you should have a, not only that, but she should be a girl who is a decent artist and she should have to draw them as well. Oh, she should, I like have to, that. she should have to draw. No, she has a session to draw each one of you guys naked completely. She has to sketch each one of you naked, okay. and then you guys could interview her about the experience and based off of what she saw yep. and what can describe. Which has the best cock. I yep. like that. Hey, Lewis, gun in the mouth time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> Yo, no, we do it. Gun in the mouth time. <laughs> yeah, we had a girl that was going to do it. We used to do it like a, we used to do a live podcast every week. And she was going to just walk in the bathroom with us and look at them. Just look at the dicks. Mm-hmm. And Bobby was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Now, I'll, I'll do it with 
eight guys because I think I, I can land in the middle of eight guys, but I'm not going to be third out of three guys. <laughs> Yo, what if you, your dick could be way better than what? That's what I'm saying, bro. You, don't you know could that? be first. Yeah, what if you're first? You have a mystery dick. I don't know. You guys talk a big game and it makes me nervous. <laughs> no, I, don't. I, I, never say, I never say anything about my dick. Yeah, you do. You say sly shit. You said, like, I know what I'm working with, that kind of stuff. I never said that Real before. black <laughs> stuff. What? You talk jive that. about your penis. <laughs> <laughs> I never said All no you guys like operate that. on jive mind. <laughs> jive mind. mind. Oh, yeah, man. Nah, I don't do that. I never talk about my dick to anybody. Then what, what do you think your penis, if you're being honest? What do I think of it? I don't know, bro. It's just a dick, dog. That's good. <laughs> what you mean? It's a dick, bro. What that I'm about to say? That's good. That's, any, that's anything to say about a dick. It's just a dick, bro. I guess. It's all right. I'll, I'll say mine's decent, but that's not uh, that's not talking a huge game. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll say decent, too. All right, we'll do it. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's all get roll the with decent. Yeah, we can roll with no, decent. It's mine's sad, and Zach, Zach's... <laughs> mine's atrocious. Zach's is a fucking nightmare. I've seen your penis. Yeah. Zach, Zach's, but Zach is like... Zach's got like a little dick and is fat and like a hilarious. Like he'd be naked and like this is f- fun times. It's very funny. Like me, my dick isn't small enough and I'm not fat enough for any. There's nothing fun. Yeah, it's not okay. fun when I'm naked. There's not fun happening for anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for my chick, doggy. I, I went to a, we went to a float tank today, uh, like 30 minutes from here. Uh, it was one of these, you know, you, you fucking lay down in salt mm-hmm. water, and after a little while, you're supposed to like feel like you're like floating through space or whatever. Right. It was fine, but it. Did you see anything? Did you hallucinate and shit? No, I I, I should have done it in complete silence. Yeah. Um. You know, uh, I did it with like you know, uh, like meditation music on. Okay, which is probably not. You know, I, I think I, I could have probably gotten a little bit. You know, whatever. Yeah. But you're kind of float. You're naked completely. And I remember I'm like kind of like floating, dude. And just my little dick is just fucking just pointing oh, upward. Oh damn! And I remember just being like so like embarrassed. Like if I died, like if I drowned, and my dick was just po- <laughs> like it would just be the fucking up. worst yeah. image ever, dude. It's such a sad fucking little dick. I feel bad for my son. I don't show my son my dick. Really? I don't let my son see it because yeah, I don't no, want him. I don't do want that. him. I don't want him to see what he's going to grow into. I yeah. feel bad for him. I mean, he's eleven now, right? Yeah. Yeah, he probably shouldn't see it anymore. Yeah, right. Yeah, the window pass. No, but if I was going to piss in the woods with him, like I would, no, I would no, turn no. away from him a little yeah, bit so he wouldn't see it. It'd be crazy away. if you didn't. Yeah. Really? <laughs> he's almost like a full grown man now, dude. I, I almost feel like men in the woods who piss together don't even turn away from each other. No. Your men just piss. Oh, no, I turn away. I turn away. My dad was one of those type dads, though. Like, my dad would just piss. Like, it's like, bro, hide your dick. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. My dad has a nice dick, and he used to turn away. Some people don't turn away. What? So I, when I, <laughs> <laughs> he, said his dad, he said his dad got big meat. Yo, you gay, bro. He yeah. said my dad got big meat. Decent dick on him. I put, my, I put my pants all the way down like a little kid peeing at the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> you piss like a retard. Put your ass out. <laughs> my ass hanging out the whole time. Damn. <laughs> You, sometimes you know what you gotta do. If you, uh, this is a trick I learned from Mike Rainey. If you got on shorts, just pull that shit to the side, let the piss come out the bottom. That's a good way to piss. That's that's a good way to piss, bro. No, that's crazy. It's, yeah, it's oh, crazy. if you just outside pissing, just fucking move this shit to the side like that, yeah. let the piss just fall out. I, I almost, I almost never wash my hands after I piss. Yeah, same. I'm with you. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, nah. It's a waste of life, dog. The amount of time you have to spend washing your hands after you piss, my dick is fine. Yeah. Okay? And it's been in your pants all day. It's yeah. not like you should, like, wash, you should it wash before yeah, you, you piss because yeah. you're touching fucking all this oh, shit. Right. You're touching you homeless shit. Before. You're touching doorknobs. You're touching fucking jizz. You're shaking people's hands. Touching other guys' yeah, dick. You're touching other guys' dick. Fingering <laughs> my, men's mouths. And then you're yeah. touching your dick with a dirty hand. Yeah. So, yeah. You I should agree. wash before. Yeah. I get kind of fucked with the splashback if I'm in a urinal. You got to back up. That means you're too close. He's got a small dick, so he can't. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be on, on it. Yeah, then I'm just pissing on my shoes. I, do, I fuck up Piss every like time. like a gargoyle for, facing forward at the urinal. <laughs> every time I take a shit in a uh, public toilet, I make this mistake. I, uh, mm-hmm. I wipe, right? Mm-hmm. I wipe while I'm still sitting, right? Yeah. And then what I do is I go to stand up, and I go to pick up my pants, and when I go to bend down, I always face the toilet to pick up my pants, and the automatic flusher goes off, and it goes, <laughs> oh, and damn, I it get sprayed with little specks of shit. Oh, and shit. Oh, ew. And uh, I, still I thought you had freckles all these years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still got some. Ew, <laughs> yeah, like you, yo. You just fucking feel like little t- dots of water on your lip. You're like, oh, oh, oh fuck, that's dog. Disgusting. 
Now, you ever sit down in one of those toilets where it's like the bowl shallow and your dick touch the fucking thing, dog? No. no. That's the fucking See, that's dick. the kind of we stuff I'm talking yeah, That's why we know we're not going to do a dick <laughs> competition <laughs> with you. <laughs> yeah. nah, I get my you. balls in the water sometimes. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, also, you, that'll re- you, you, you shoot up. Yes. Yo, it's when your balls villain. get cold out of nowhere, mm-hmm. it's a real fucking how do you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you do? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Yeah. A real respusha. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, that's nasty when your dick touch some public toilet shit is fucking disgusting. No, it's crazy uh, that you don't think that's a sly thing to say your dick's huge either. <laughs> that's not, bro. It happens. It's not. It's not me. It's the shape of the toilet. No, <laughs> it no, is, yo. Sometimes the toilet's shallow or something. The black I've, I've never met a shallow a toilet too shallow. <laughs> happens, to where bro. my dick is touching the water. Yeah, it's fucked up. I think it's how you can get AIDS. Honestly, you get toilet water inside your dick hole, bro. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. No, I think that adds up. Remember, there was that like little uh, that little fish that swam up your pee stream. Oh yeah, and went into your dick hole. Oh, yeah, right. and I was thought it was like an old wives' tale. I was like, that's not true. I would I would call people stupid. I was like, shut the fuck up. It's not real. So then I looked it up. Thing. and That's some real shit. That's though. a real thing, bro. You can get parasites in your dick. Oh, and they got spikes God. on them, right? So they know. stay. Oh yeah. so like damn. They're shaped like this so that they can go in, but you but can't, can't pull come them out. out. Oh, dude. I feel like you already got one of those in your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I just got <laughs> Damn. So how did they get Damn, it out? You, you started growing spikes. I think that's one of the signs. Yeah. <laughs> they got to cut your dick open to get it out? I don't know, dude. Fuck, bro. Uh, Doesn't it mess with your brain or something? Dick surgery's got to be the worst thing in the world, dude. Yeah, I can't imagine. Let somebody just cut on your dick? Why? Yeah. Uh, I should have had my dick cut open one time where I had a... <laughs> I had a tick. It's in not my what dick. you think. There was a bomb in it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a saw trap. <laughs> Crossed wires. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a tick in my dick, and the head was already buried in there. It was overnight. Oh, calm down, oh. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> a tick on my dick? Should I give it a flick? Hold Should on, I light it with a, the big? There was a, I hope I don't get sick. <laughs> a tick inside of the hole? It was on the shaft. And the, the body was. Like a big, like a big fat, uh, juicy one? Yeah. And dude, no, the tech. And and, <laughs> and then and, the, and the, it was it was having a field day on my dick because I had the morning one too. It's just like, oh, 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 and the body was just ah <laughs> like, uh, fuck, like this. and it was and, stuck on your fucking dick. Yeah, and I I, I ripped like the the body off. Yeah, but it's but it's the mouth was, was still fucking just sucking. Yeah, and there was and like, you're a, like ooh. Wait, where were you? Where were you sleeping when this happened? Yeah, how you get a tick on your dick? Well, th- this was in high school. We would just hang out in the woods and drink. Naked. Okay. So then I, I didn't catch it. And then, yeah, the next day was there. And then I called my dad in panic. And he was like, do you want to go to the hospital? And I was like, nah, let, let's just see what this body do. And it, it ate it ate the head. Wait, the time. what do you mean it ate the head? Like, it just like dissolved it in my it? penis. Uh. Hold on, wait a minute. You absorbed the tick into your dick. You have Lyme yeah. disease, Dick. You have, yo, you definitely got Lyme disease. You got tick, tick, officially. <laughs> Official tick, tick. Uh, it's crazy. Damn it, ladies, let you put that thing inside of them, and they don't even know. I think you got to tell ladies. You, you, this. you have to tell people that. I think that should be a crime <laughs> yeah, legally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I think it's a sign of like, like, <laughs> like, I'm not having an outbreak or anything, but I do have full blown tick, tick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Damn. How old were you when this happened? I was in like high school. Oh, all right. Yeah. Damn, that's the worst time for some shit to happen with your dick, bro. Yeah, hey, <laughs> It right. is. In high school, that sucks. When yeah, I was 11, I pissed out blood one time. I pissed out all blood, right? And I called my mom and said, Ma, I just pissed out a ton of blood. And she was like. That's so Kool-Aid. <laughs> no, she said I sneezed too hard. She that's because you probably sneezed too hard. I was like, all right. She didn't even take me to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just piss out dude. blood. I probably did sneeze. I don't know what it was. Stick, it, no... stick it to Whole Foods. Got some organic, <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> organic milk and hold it a day. You piss out, but never, you never thought about it again? No, I, th- I think about it all the time. I think about it every day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Were you boxing at the time? Yeah, I was. Think maybe you got hit Yeah, kidney probably got kidney shot. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was, I was 11 years old. And then I just pissed out a all blood. It felt like I had to just piss normal, but it just a bunch of blood came up. Have you pissed blood since like, then? This never thick, happened. Oh, you're good. Thick then. blood, like not just red in your pee. It was like thick, like blood. No, it was thicker than pee, but not thick as blood, but red. That was like a burgundy well, color. Dude, your dick is you know the same evil. blood is thicker than piss. <laughs> Yo, that, your dick is so metal. Yo, that shit was yeah. scary. <laughs> I thought I had AIDS, and I wasn't even fucking yet. I was like, oh shit, I got AIDS. Yeah, you might have AIDS. No, I don't have it now. <laughs> you pissed it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You fucked the baby. <laughs> uh, All right, let's.
let's uh you guys want to wrap this yeah, let's, do it, let's do it, dude. I don't want to keep you guys all day. I know you got other pods. Yeah, you guys to do. are the shit. Mm-hmm. We love Louis you. Louis, the man. Thank Thanks, you for Louis. doing this. Thanks for coming Thanks on. Thank you, man. Guys. Thank you so much. All the shit, bro. You guys are the best. Man. Um, I love you guys. You guys want to plug some stuff real quick? Yeah, check out my pods. Real ass podcast leads you to skanks, the regs, all on gas digital, and check me out touring. I'm touring all over the country. Go to lewisofskanks.com. Mm-hmm. You know, check me out on Instagram at Zach is not funny. Also on Real Ass Podcast, and I got Zach Amico's Midnight Spook Show, all Great on gas digital. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Um, patreon.com slash do rag and the deer tag get on there and uh mississippi we're coming for you april 12th and 13th please protect me don't let don't let these white people hang me in mississippi columbus mississippi and then uh live do rag and friends at brooklyn comedy club may 1st so all the new york people come out to that it's gonna be nice um yeah dude check out the instagram tickets on there Mm -hmm. see you guys on patreon peace